Hello, potato, and welcome to Just Add Water Wednesday, where today we're going traveling with a little goat. Yes, we've done this before. It was this little goat went to Hong Kong, did it not too long ago, found it on special at my local grocery store, and I was a little disappointed in it. It, uh, not because there was anything wrong with it, but because I kind of wanted it to be a thing that it just wasn't. I wanted a specific flavor profile that it just didn't have, and that's not the sauce's fault. That's mine. I had expectations. This time I have no real expectations. Uh, this little goat went to Tokyo. It's a sweet and salty everything sauce by Chef Stephanie Izzard. And like I said, with the Hong Kong sauce that was on like clearance, this also was on clearance. So I thought I'd give it a try. I figured I would find it like on Amazon or something if I really do end up liking it and want more of it. All purpose glaze. Enjoy on fish, meat, veggies, the perfect balance of sweet and salty explore where cooking can take you finish drizzle for meats rice or veggies well i'm gonna use it on noodles it says everything right i'm gonna put on some noodles because it's just add water wednesday and noodles are predominantly what we do here it's 30 calories for one tablespoon of the sauce 19 percent of your daily sodium less than a gram of protein what is in here because i mean looking at it i i feel like i'm gonna get like a very soy or teriyaki kind of thing going here by the coloring it's uh cane sugar well there's the sweet wow that is purple on purple is not easy to read tamari sauce salted sake i think that says winter grand out water granulated tamari soy sauce So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have like a fairly good fairly good soy flavor here, which I like a good soy flavor. I think I think I'm gonna like this better just in general than the Hong Kong sauce. Let's uh, open it up. I'm sure there's a seal here, right? I hope there's a seal here. I mean, it's all like kind of pushed in for like pressure, so I assume there was a seal, and there is. Let's give it a let's check it out first. Again, it looks yeah, it looks very. It's got very much of a kind of a, a soy saucy. Teriyaki, it's very thin. It's a little, like a thin sauce, definitely. It moves a lot. Ooh, it smells really good, though. Definitely smells the soy sauce. Try a little bit the lid there. Yeah, it's soy sauce and something else. I guess the sake and other flavors. But that's, that's really good. I definitely think, I'm, I'm, yeah, I definitely like this one better just straight off the bat than the Hong Kong. It's just, it's a flavor profile that's more familiar to me with uh, being a very heavily soy based or soy sauce based. Love me a soy sauce flavor. And uh, it, I didn't have expectations of it tasting like something that it just was never going to taste like. So now I have to do the just add water portion of this video and go make myself some noodles. I'm going to do the same as I did for the Hong Kong noodles. I'm going to make some udon, the, the like dry boil in the pot udon not the much nicer, thicker, chewier frozen udon, which I really should get some more of. But the dried udon is what we have, and that's what I used for trying. This little goat went to Hong Kong. We're gonna use that for this little goat went to Tokyo. And now, obviously, I mean, I think if you're gonna use this something, you probably wanna use it in conjunction with other things. But I just wanna kinda of get a flavor of the sauce on noodles. So we're not gonna add other stuff like meats and veggies and stuff. We're just gonna do a very basic noodle and sauce. So let me go make some noodles. And I'll be right back. All right, I am back with a fresh, very hot steaming bowl of udon noodles. In case you don't believe me for some reason, there you go. And now it's time for you and I and this little goat to take a trip to Tokyo with the sweet and salty everything sauce. So I'm just kind of eyeball. Ooh, that is that's thicker than I thought it would be. That looks thin in the. Uh, and it's not quite like a honey consistency, but it's a, it is more of like a thicker teriyaki sauce consistency than I thought. And it looked like, you know, yeah, it's got kind of a, kind of a little bit of a stretch when it drips. Now it's not enough on there, see? Almost like, like a, very, like a very thin honey. It's probably because of the sugar, like what, sugar was the first ingredient? Yeah, it was cane sugar and tamari sauce. And then there's like powdered soy sauce in there as well. But I think it's probably about a tablespoon, right? 
one serving width. So let's uh, try to, I don't know, I might want to add some more. I feel like I, I feel like I put a tablespoon in, but I mean, that is only, this is only one portion of noodles. I did, you know, it's the kind that comes in little bands. I, I think if you look back at the, this little goat went to Hong Kong video, I actually showed the noodles I'm using. It's the same noodles. So, all right. So I'm going to just be a lot more generous, I think, with it. I'm getting almost a, a garlic in this. I'm getting almost a garlic flavor, like aftertaste. I absolutely cannot read that, but I don't think so. I think it's mostly like sugar, water, tamari sauce, and soy sauce. Hmm. It's got like a, almost like a garlicky, like oniony flavor in my mouth, like part of the aftertaste. It's weird. All right, so I mean, it looks like it's a it's a light coating. It's not soup. I didn't make the super saucy. I guess maybe I should have left some of the water, or like not not drained it so well. You know, you strain these things out and. Maybe I like shook it a little too much. Let's get ourselves a nice little, little uh, spoonful here. Use the spoon so that we do not pour noodles on the camera or the table or the floor or anything else in the vicinity. All right, this little goat, let's head to Tokyo. I could use maybe just a smidge more, but it's quite nice. It's got, um, it's got a little bit more of a teriyaki feel on the noodles. It's very much more just soy saucy on its own, but on the noodles I do get, it's not got the, actually got quite the sweetness, despite cane sugar being the number one ingredient. It's not got quite the sweetness of uh, like a teriyaki sauce, but I'm getting like a little bit. I don't know what's in teriyaki sauce. Maybe tamari is in teriyaki sauce. I honestly don't know, but that would explain why I'm getting it's more of a teriyaki sauce kind of a taste in my mouth. When it's on the noodles. Compared to two when it's uh, like on my finger or on the label. But yeah, I quite like that one. Uh, I may have to go back and get some more of that before they sell out. Because this one definitely would be good like to marinate some chicken in or put on like some rice. I don't know about vegetables. I really don't know about putting it on veg. But it definitely would be good on like, something, something like with a heavy rice inclusion. Like a, like a maybe like a teriyaki chicken and some rice or just even just grilled chicken and then like drizzle this over the top. I actually like that one quite a lot. I like it a lot more than the Hong Kong. Uh, and I went into, you know, again, no expectations this time. But I just think objectively, I mean, objectively for my opinion is I'm pretty sure your opinion can't necessarily be exactly objective because it's an opinion. But from... What level of objectivity that I can come up with as far as the flavor goes, I just genuinely like this better than the Hong Kong sauce in general. Maybe because I, you know, my experimenting in food has skewed more Japanese than like Hong Kong, and therefore I'm just more used to the flavors we're seeing here. But yeah, this is quite nice. Uh, this is one that I definitely can see getting a lot of use out of. And, uh, you know, I used probably a couple tablespoons with it, and then. You know, it's a good portion. It'll make a few meals. It'll definitely make a few meals. But yeah, I like this one quite a bit. I'm going to have another bite just out of the bowl. Don't need to do it on the spoon just to have some out of the bowl. Now that said, just sauce and noodles is itself a little unsatisfying. It needs, it could use something else, some meat, some egg, something else in there just to just to give it a little more more but the point of this was to try the sauce and the sauce is definitely a winner so yeah this little goat you have redeemed your family or i don't know is it the same little goat you've redeemed yourself uh, your trip to hong kong yeah okay your trip to tokyo fantastic it's very much a soy sauce flavor but with something else probably the tamari uh, you know, normally that soy sauce is just, you know, your like Kikoman soy sauce. I don't usually get tamari soy sauce, and that's probably the big difference. And I'm guessing maybe that's part of what's in teriyaki sauce, which is why I'm getting a little bit of that flavor. Again, despite the sugar being the number one ingredient, not as sweet as teriyaki sauce, but also missing, it's also missing 
other things, maybe ginger? I don't know. It's missing some stuff you'd find in teriyaki sauce, but it's, it's a very nice, like, soy sauce plus flavor. It does, it does seem to be sticking to the noodles really well. I mean, we're not, there's no puddling at the bottom. So it coats the noodles nicely. It's a little thicker than I thought it was initially, but not like, you know, like honey thick. Or even like a... I mean, I've had some pretty thick... I've had teriyaki sauces that are practically gel. But, you know, it's it's thinner or... It's thinner than that. But it's thicker than like just soy sauce alone would be. Yeah, I quite like it. So I'm now going to go finish up my lunch. I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.